you already know what the fuck going on, man. I'm at my favorite spot to be when I'm not at home. And that's in a truck lot messing with my truck. Nice Pete right there. Western Star. Old school. I love old school trucks. Oh, we're getting ready to pull up. Pull up on Big Blue. They go Big Blue, y'all. My favorite. That's my favorite right there. Big Blue. Yeah, what's happening, driver? Like I promised y'all in the beginning of this channel, I'm going to start lacing everybody up with the way to get on the course. First of all, you want to have two years of experience. Uh, the reason you want to have two years of experience because uh, Progressive is basically the insurance company that a lot of people will be able to get without the two years and Progressive is not UIA friendly so what you want to do is have your two years experience that way when you get insurance you can have an insurance with an insurance company that is UIA friendly you have to remember that you make sure that you ask your insurance uh, adjuster are you UIA friendly because uh, you will not be able to get on the ports until you have a SCAT code and you are registered with UIIA, which is the Port Authority. Another thing you want to do, you want to get your TWIC. You want to get your TWIC card. Uh, another thing you want to do, you want to find out because some ports, uh, you won't need to have a port ID. As long as you have TWIC, you can get in. But some of them, require that you have the TWIC and the port ID. So you have to make sure that you find out if the ports that you want to run uh, do TWIC and port ID or just TWIC alone. After obtaining uh, insurance from an insurance company that is UIIA friendly, the next thing you would want to do is get your SCAT, your SCAT, S-C-A-C code want to get your scat code and to get your scat code you have to go to uh nmfta.org and uh scat stands for standard carrier alpha code without a scat code you would not be able to get on the ports then you come here to nmfta which stands for national motor freight traffic association you slide up the page. You'll see where it says SCAC, which is the standard carrier alpha code. Click apply. Then you read over the po privacy policy and your um, introduction. The rest of it is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, your business legal name, trade name, business uh, mailing address, so on and so on. Then the next one will be your FMCSA registration, which would be your DOT number, your MC number. Then your requester's information, which is the information of the person that owns the business. You review your application, you make the payment, which is $84. And you're ready to roll on to the next website that you'll need, which would be the UIA. So under UIA, you slide up, you partic you click participate as a motor carrier. Then you come here, uh, this give you all your requirements that you need for registration. Uh, of course you see you need your SCAT code, you need your USDOT, your MC number, your tax ID number insurance information uh then you do a online or a paper form then you could check on your pending application and then when you're 
account is activated, they provide you with a login. <clears throat> Once you get into this login, you'll see all the uh, intermodal providers. And what you do is you will register with every company that you can. I don't want to drop too many gems all in one video. So I want to keep it going. Just stay in tune. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Make sure you hit the bell notification uh, so you could uh, stay in tune to all my latest content. You keep fucking with Congo Express, man. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. I'm going to tell you exactly how to get on. I'm going to make sure that you start running the ports. And I'll see you out there, driver. Yay. Congo Express and I'm out 10-4.